the UH defense shine today in Lower Manoa. Love to hear that. Kyle Tanen has the full report from day three of training camp. Day three of training camp here in Manoa all wrapped up and it would be the Warriors defense to show up and show out. Five takeaways by the unit today in practice. A welcome sight for defensive coordinator Jacob Yoro, who's trying to create an offense's worst nightmare on that side of the ball. Going into his second year as defensive coordinator, Jacob Yoro is looking to wreak havoc on offenses in 2023. And he says it all starts in training camp. And during today's team periods, the D looked in sync. I got counted about five takeaways during team and throughout the day. Just kind of talk about how this defense has been gelling the long three days in the camp. I, you know, it's a, big, it's a big emphasis for us. It's, it's about... It's about getting to the ball, it's about attacking the ball, and it's about finishing, right? And that's been the, what we've been preaching throughout the entire offseason. Um, you know, year two, it's been such a pleasure watching these guys just grow in our scheme. We've been stressing details as a, as a team, really, as a collective, just ensuring that every little thing you do, it's attention to detail. It's With a year under their belt, Euro is ready to open up the playbook this season. It's about the comfort in what we're doing. Um, last year, we had to be very vanilla in a lot of the things we we're doing um, in year one of our scheme. And it allows the players to fly around. We're a lot more prone to being able to play faster, being able to play more quicker and a lot more confidence. And that's going to allow us to do the things we're able to do when we're on the field. It helps when you add more playmakers to the team, with Wyoming transfer Cam Stone joining the secondary. Stone notched 45 tackles and 10 pass deflections in three seasons with the Cowboys and feels right at home here in the islands. Uh, well, you know, they made me feel at home pretty early, like as soon as I got here, really. Uh, everybody's entwined. Just seeing them, I just jumped on and it just went as one. So really when they called me, it was it was already a top option just being here, playing here and seeing the scenery. Uh, I enjoyed it here. I took my visit, enjoyed it even more. And it was, it was kind of a done deal after that. The Bows continue training camp with practices still open to the public, except for Saturday scrimmages at Ching Field due to ongoing construction. Reporting from Manoa, Kyle Chinen, Hawaii News Now.